What's going on gamers? Today we're going to go over how to install plugins on your Minecraft server. Hosting a Minecraft server with your friends and other players can be fun, but vanilla gameplay can become dull. This leads to a desire for new changes, something that can add tools, cosmetic commands, and other features. And if you run a paper, spigot, or bucket-based server, you can use plugins to solve this issue. These are files you can add into the server to implement new functionality such as homes, an economy, custom items, rules, and so much more. Depending on how you want to install them, there are two possible options done in the panel, so let's go over that today. Like I said, there are two installation methods for using plugins on your Minecraft server, which gives you more options to work with. The first one is a manual installation, while its counterpart is automatic. Most server owners do use the manual option to install plugins, but the automatic variant saves a lot of time. However, no matter which one you choose, before you start installing them, the server has to be set to paper, spigot, or other bucket types. If the server is not currently set to that, you can review this guide to learn how to change it. The first way of installing Minecraft plugins is through the FTP panel, which is highly recommended since it's the most reliable option. If you're not sure, you can always review our How to Find Minecraft Plugins tutorial that shows safe ways to find them. As for how to manually install the plugins, head to your Apex server panel and press FTP file access in the top left corner. Log in and then head to the plugins directory, and once you're there, press upload in the very top left of the screen. On the next page, drag the plugin jar file into the drop file upload section. And once they reach 100%, you can use your server name at the top of the page to return to the main panel and restart the server to load the plugin. After that, you'll want to join your server and use the forward slash plugins command to confirm if they appear in the list. And if it's successful, the plugin will appear as green. We also have our custom panel feature that allows you to easily install plugins with just a few clicks rather than downloading and uploading them. It's called the plugin list and it's the automatic way to install plugins on your server. Unlike the manual method, you can simply use the built-in search function to find what you need and install them with one click. However, we do not control what plugins appear in the list, so be careful when exploring and using them. For the automatic installation, head towards your Apex server panel and click plugin list in the top left corner. Once you're there, you can change the source from bucket to spigot, which is suggested, and then you can use the category section to narrow the results through specific types of plugins. Afterwards, use the name field to search for the exact plugin that you want, and when you find the plugin, click its name and press install. Wait for it to finish, and then you should see more options such as removing the plugin, which means that it was successfully installed. Return to the main panel and click restart to load them into the game, and then join the server and use the forward slash plugins command to confirm they worked, looking for them to turn green. Now before we go over some common issues, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that notification bell to stay up to date on all of our future videos. If the plugins freeze when uploading them into the FTP file access, this can happen if the server is having an issue or if the file is too large. The best way to fix the problem is to stop the server and re-log into the FTP panel and try again, or you can use an FTP client to install some of the bigger plugins. If you followed the instructions and the plugins are not loaded into the game, make sure to restart the server first. If you've done that and nothing appears in the forward slash plugins command, something went wrong. One scenario is that the plugins attempted to load but got disabled due to a missing dependency or wrong Minecraft version. This would make it show up in game but as red instead of green. Otherwise, if it's not appearing at all, it could be an indication the plugin is broken. The best fix for that one is to find a replacement since it's unlikely for multiple plugins to be problematic. Plugins are a great way to add custom features to enhance your Minecraft experience, especially when you have other players. Whether you use the manual or automatic installation method, it's entirely possible to implement them into a compatible server, and once the plugins are installed, no additional steps are needed to get started. This means that players don't have to use them on their launcher like mods. And finally, when you play with plugins, you might want to tweak some aspects to them which is done through the configuration files. 
Most of these are completely customizable, giving you the perfect way to alter your Minecraft experience. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.